So you're probably wondering, the things you need to know before starting a business. Well, that's what I've been doing for the last 23 years is starting businesses. I've started seven conventional companies. I've been involved with four different network marketing companies in the last 23 years. I've helped thousands of people, uh, probably just like you, start earning a, a viable income working from home. And uh, many of them have walked away from their jobs and they do this full time as I have for the last 23 years. So hopefully I'm going to help answer your question and the things that you need to do first before starting this business. So the first thing you need to do is research, okay, uh, five key factors before you start your business. Now, these five things I've utilized over the last 20 years to help put myself in a, in a position to be successful right out of the gate. Okay, so I'm going to help give you the blueprint so you don't have to wonder what to do. Okay, I'm going to give you the blueprint right here. Now, this blueprint is not my design. It was actually designed by uh, uh, three very successful entrepreneurs in our lifetime. Warren Buffett, Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump, all three of them talk about this blueprint or these five key factors to help position yourself for success and the things you need to know to start your home business, right? So, number one, you have to choose a company that's solid and well-funded. If you're going to go to work and market another company's products or services, you want to make sure they can pay their light bill. Now, ideally, you want to make sure the company is at least five years old. If possible, it's even better if the company's 10 years old. At best, you want that company to be 10 years old, publicly traded, and the ultimate scenario would be uh, 10 years or plus older, publicly traded, and they're in e-commerce, scalable, you know, globally. That would be ideal. Number two. You want to make sure this company's positioned itself in front of a major economic trend or some sort of movement. What I mean by that is you don't want to go into an industry marketing a product or a service that's actually in an industry of decline or stagnant, right? You want something that's going vertical. Number three, you want to make sure you're marketing a product or a service with mass appeal. What do I mean by that? I mean you want a product that everybody's currently using now or something that everybody needs, right? You don't want to go and change the buying habits of the consumer. You don't want to go give them a comparable product to what they're used to buying just because you're a friend or a family member. You want to get in the middle of a consumer transaction that's going to happen with or without you and give them the ultimate consumer buying proposition. And number four, you want to make sure that the, the compensation plan is lucrative enough for your time and your energy involvement. You want to make sure the one thing we cannot get back is our time, that you're going to be rewarded nicely for putting your time and energy into this company or product or service, right? Lastly, and probably you know one of the most important factors is it's got to be affordable for the masses. What do I mean by that? What I mean is this, this investment that you're going to make, this business model that you're going to start, it has to be affordable for you. It has to have a reasonable risk reward factor to it, and it has to have a good return on investment ratio. So those are the things that you want to look for. And one of the fastest ways to scale your models, uh, your business, is also to make sure that you have something that you can duplicate, that other people can do what you're doing. So those are the things that you have to consider first before starting your business. So you have to do your research. Now, when you're done with your research, the things that you need to do next to start your business are very, uh, you know, they're kind of a, they're uh, business all, uh, uh, you know, business oriented. You'll have to get a, you, some cases you have to get a business license, other cases you don't have to get a business license. You, you might want to incorporate or get an LLC, an EIN number. You probably want to set up you know, some sort of accounting system with QuickBooks or Quicken or something like that. But I go into all that in later videos, okay, on the things that you need to do. But right now, it's the research. This company uh, that, that I'm currently working with right now, it actually meets all five of these criteria. It's uh, being compared right now to Facebook. It's being compared to Microsoft and Google. It's a 12-year-old publicly traded company. They operate in every country on the planet, support 17 different languages and multiple different currencies. So if you're looking, if you've already done your research and you can't find a company that meets all five of those criteria, be feel free to click on one of the links below, either wagga.com or myverticalmove.com. Either one of those will give you a detailed description of what I'm currently doing with this company that's right in the middle of a, a vertical trend. It's probably the largest economic shift in, in global history as it will go from $1 trillion to $2.3 trillion in the next three years. So I really appreciate uh, you taking your time to watch our video. We hope that we've answered your question. If you feel like this has been helpful to you, you could click like on our video. 
And you can share it also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, or Instagram, or across any social media channel that you have, because that's part of our business.